up everybody, it's your boy Fat Dollars bringing you some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team gameplay. This is a look at the squad. We went and picked up Demarius Thomas, put him in the number one position. We still got Chad Ochocinco, still got Deshaun Jackson that we substitute in if we need. Like I said, I got Antonio Brown for only chemistry reasons. Michael Vick is still leading the way, and I'm probably going to switch out Chad Johnson at the end of this season and put Randy Moss, the newest Randy Moss, in that position. On defense, we beefed up the line. We got Dunlap boosted to a 99. We got... uh. Poe boosted to a 99. He was a 98 in the defensive tackle number two position. Now we got him boosted up to a 99. 99 block shares. You can see we are going into week number four. If you're this far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to show your love and appreciation and support it. I'm going to give you the breakdown of how I run my blitzes. When do I set it up? Certain downs and distances. As you can see, my opponent comes right out and gash me. And I think that's the ultimate ticket, Derrick Henry. I think he had the ultimate ticket, Derrick Henry, and the ultimate ticket, Marcus Mariotti. I ain't sure, but I think that he did. I wasn't really paying attention to the top cards. But we are coming out right now on our offense. And I'm going to show you the defensive breakdown right there for that last play. That's going to be his last and only big play of the game. I'm going to make all my adjustments the rest of the game and this is why we are the clamp guides on this channel. He got one touchdown already. He is up by a possession and I'm going to do my thug thizzle. Shut the run down and make him have to pass the ball. If you can take the run game away from your opponent, these three defenses will work on you. As you can see, we come down with a possession catch right there. I'm doing the opposite of what his user is doing. He is switching his users. He using that linebacker and sometimes he uses the corner far to the left. You will see later on in the drive. But right here we playmaker and I just float a beautiful pass with Michael Vick to my boy Davis with the speed and we get down to the 20 yard line. Now it's time to get into the end zone. I got a guy on the comeback route. I'm going to put Davis across on the slant. You see his user is on the left side of the field. He's going to follow that guy in the stop route and we're going to have Antonio Brown wide open underneath. Perfect blockchain. When I get ready to do my passing plays and I think it might be any kind of pressure, I pinch my line. If I don't think pressure is coming, I uh, spread my offensive lines out. Now right here, I am adjusting to his run because he wanted to pound the ball on his first touch. He ran for about a 75 yard touchdown. So I am taking the run away from him. I come out in the 3-3-5 to stop the run. That means that everything is wide on the field. He has so much far stuff to do. Like his tosses, he has about four or five people that has to have real good speed to get out there and block all my fast linebackers and all my linemen. I spread my line, I spread my linebackers. You see right now it's third and 11. It's a pass situation. So we are coming out in the dom blitz setup. Base a line, cr uh, pinch a line down, crash them out. And then QB spy the left side where the opposite of the blitzer is coming. That's all you got to do for either the dom, the nickel, or the 335 if you want to bring that pressure. As you can see right here. He wanted to do the little uh, screenplay, and we gobbled it up because I jumped the route, and I come out in the Tampa 2 right there. Because if it's a running situation where he got two wide receivers, or even three wide receivers, I come out in 3-3-5. If I know that he's going to put the ball in the air, I come out in a bigger package, but I alternate it. I make sure that he don't never know. If I do a nickel blitz, I do the nickel blitz from the left side. If I'm doing the dime blitz, I'm sending the blitz from the right side. If I'm doing the 3-3-5, I might flip the play depending on how his setup is. That's one thing that you got to keep in the back of your head is you can see the blitz is coming through screaming before he can get rid of the ball. Fourth and 16. Now, he scored that one time on the run play, and we got 28 points. So I ain't showing y'all my offense. I'm just showing y'all how we are locking him down. Second and four, I'm back in the 3-3-5 taking away all his reads and he has to hold the ball longer than what he want to. I am mixing the blitzes up so perfect. Like I said, if you give me 40 likes on this, man, I can stream or show y'all a better tip on how to make adjustments. It's all about the knowledge and setting up your scheme. Never let your opponent get comfortable as he's dropping back right here at the end of the quarter. And you can see my guy was right there, man. But his animation just made him keep on running. But that was the end of the game because this guy had enough. That was the end of the half. I get ball again, so he pulled the core. He can't score. My defense is locked down. Let's go.